Hey, had a great day today. Got lots done. Uh, working on a fence. So that old fence we took apart at the neighbors and rolled up. We ended up uh, putting posts in the ground and uh, putting that fence up. It's old, but I mean it works and it was free. Just thinking here, it's a beauty day. Well, it's not really, it was windy all day. You kind of can tell there's like a haze in the air. And it's been threatening storm all day long. I think it all went north of us. The wind died down, it was really windy. But it's just a nice day. The grass is green, it's luscious, everything's growing. Okay, we got blooms on trees. I don't know what kind of tree this is, but it looks good. Fields are luscious. We could definitely use some rain. We need, uh, definitely need some moisture. Anyway, gonna go bike up there and look at the fence. Even got Mama on a bike. Mama's biking. I'm gonna go get my bike and have a look at the fence. Yeah, as long as they're not too small. Looks like I got a blue background. Blue background. Why is it hard to say two letters in a row? Blue black. Blue back. Oh, I gotta get that. That is one more reason to love this place. Look at that sky though. I mean, that's just awesome. I just love it. I think the sun's going down over there somewhere. Beautiful. We are fencing. We've been doing that for a while. Didn't videotape any of it, not much. You can see here, there's an old fence line. And there was like, oh, I don't know. I don't know if you can tell on there, but there's one, two, three, four, five posts out of that whole fence that was still standing. The one in the field here, not the one on the on the road. So we put a whole bunch of new ones in. The neighbor allowed me to use his, to borrow his bush, oh, not bush hog, his post hole auger, hang on the back of the tractor. The deal was I fix it, I get to use it. So I did a bunch of welding on it. I had to replace a, uh, oh, what's it called again? Cross bearing in the yoke. And what else? That's about it, greased it. 
Uh, it seems to be working. I might throw a coat of paint on there yet. Who knows? Uh, anyway, so we're drilling holes, trying to get these pastures done here on the north side of the farm. Uh, our plan, over here in this bush, we whack the trail through the bush to um, uh, put the cattle in that bush eventually this summer. That's our plan, but I haven't got it fenced yet. This is where we had our cattle last year is in this pasture. Whoop! This pasture here, as well as this pasture, and we had this one split in two, I guess. And then we had another pasture made on this side and one across the laneway. Our laneway runs right through there. So we're going to fence them more properly. Last year we used some of these step-ins. Cows are out quite frequently. Uh, right now we're, we're actually running a, a good fence. So along the lane there, I got that old, uh, the old page wire fence we took down from the neighbor's place that he wanted to get rid of. And there was three small rolls of that. We've used two of it so far. We're going to use one more over there. And then the rest of this, we're going to use a mix of barbed wire and um, just a high tensile shock wire, a hot wire, we call it. There's going to be power on it. Uh, one problem with shock here, too, is that when it's dry in the summer, it's kind of sandy here. You can tell where the soil West is working with. It's quite sandy, so it dries up. And if you don't have good ground contact, the animal will not get shocked by that wire. And that's why they just walk right through. The lower pasture over there, down the hill, it stays fairly wet. I don't know if I'm pointing in the right direction. Somewhere over there. It stays fairly damp. And we had better success there. But up here on the hill, it's pretty dry. So by putting in um, multiple strands, one of them can be a ground and one can be a hot. And then when the animal sticks his head or tries to through the fence, he'll touch two at once and get a good shot. Um, also with the barbed wire on there, same same principle. The outside perimeter of our farm has got a really good fence on it, but uh, interior fences have just fallen over. Don't have too many old, well, this is one right here. This used to be a fence once upon a time. We're actually pulling all the rails out, Waylon is with Anissa. And uh, we're loading them all up on the wagon. We're going to use them and rebuild it along the laneway from, uh, well, I'll show you that later. But where, where I ended with my page wire fence from there to the house, we're hoping to do all cedar rails. Through here as well, this is all a rail fence. It's all falling over. And uh, we hope to fix some of that back up. Uh, there here you see in the middle of the pasture, you can see we'll pull all that out and we'll replace it with wire here. And then uh, I would like to do page wire. Ultimately, it would be nice to do page wire, but that costs way too much. So just running a couple of hot wires would be good this year. So anyway, Wes has got this guy done. What we've done, I'll show you in the next hole, I guess. We've drilled the hole. And then uh, we just stopped the post in there. i got this wire laying here. If I can, oh, somebody's got something on my fence over there. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> anyway, we're using it to get straight line so we can get these posts more or less in a straight line. And uh, so you can see they're pretty close. Okay, and then we're backfilling and tapping it with the sledge, trying to get her good and packed in. So this hole here, some of these aren't very deep. This one here is. Some of these are good. But down there, the rock sticks out a bit more. You can see the gravel slopes off or the dirt. There's less dirt there. So the first two holes are only in about a foot. We'll be bracing those and putting rocks on the braces to keep them from falling over. Most of these down here were okay. Uh, there's a few more up the hill here that are also not very deep. So, but like this one's perfect. We drop a post in there, backfill it. It will be good. I don't know if you remember one of the past videos when we cut that path through the bush, a lot of these cedar trees got piled up uh, by the guy in the high hole. And so we've cut those up now for the posts. So I don't know if you remember in there, but I said we'd use them. Here we're using them. Oh, the first one. The deep one. Yeah. You got that off the wire? Yeah. Ready to go? Oh, we're way in the wrong spot here, buddy. Dad, what used to be right here? Well, no, because that would be crooked. If you flop it, that's where she sits. We got a lot of digging to do here.
needs to go to a gym, eh? Hey? Said who needs to go to a gym? Wonderful. I'm tired. Hi. Boo. Boo. Say boo. Hello. Hello. A girl can do that. Eh? She has just as many muscles as you. Good job, big guy. Oh, Never carried something. Oh yeah, I had carried something like that. You gotta that. pick it up and bam into the ground. Bam! There you go. I keep thinking that's a pile of dirt too, but it's not. Did, you, did Eli find a shovel? No, he's still over there. I'm not sure if there is anymore. I can't get it. No? Oh, 
All right, right there. You gonna hold it? Yappy and dappy there. I'm a little guy. No, nope, because it's crooked. Where's your in the hole the fence post? Hey? Right there. You know how else you can pack it? Like this, it might be easier for you. You just slam it up and down, up and down. Watch your teeth. Hard though, hard. Watch your face with that shovel though. Mm -hmm. You think it's getting good? It's getting hard. It's hard to push down. Is it? You use that long as this? Alright, go around the post. Yeah. Round and round the post we go. Da, 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 da. What better way to enjoy life? Than to put in posts? Than to work together as a family. Oh, yeah. Alright, everybody's yep. out here. And the dogs. Yeah, push.